What's up guys, it's the Carp here, back again with another video, and today I'm going to be doing my Champions League predictions, and uh, as you can see, you know, by now I've just got them written down on a piece of paper, and I'm recording this with my iPhone. Uh, the audio is probably better than uh, my microphone that I use for videos, so it should be alright. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it. Uh, Dortmund versus Monaco. I think Dortmund is going to win 3-2. Uh, this could go either way. I think there's going to be a lot of goals in this match. And uh, I think Dortmund are going to just edge it. And then in the second leg at Monaco, I think it's going to be 1-1. One, one. I think Monaco is going to be a little bit conservative after getting two away goals. Uh, but I think Dortmund are going to have the quality to see it out in the end. 1-1. One one. Uh, I would imagine Dortmund scoring first and then Monaco you know, throwing everything at the wall to uh, try and get the, get their advantage back. And I think Dortmund is going to go through. Uh, I could see this one going either way, though. Then next, we have Juventus versus Barcelona. And I think at Juventus, it's going to be 1-1. Um, I think uh, Barcelona is probably going to score first in this one. And uh, it's going to be probably first half Barcelona scores, second half Juventus scores. And it's going to be a really tight match, uh, a lot of defending. Obviously, with Juventus having a, a great defense, Barcelona having a great attack, should be interesting. Uh, Juventus have a pretty good attack this this season, too, though, so uh, anything could happen. But in the second leg at Barcelona, I think Barcelona's going to just edge it 1-0. Uh, I don't think there's going to be that many goals in this fixture overall because of how good Juventus' defense is. Um, but I still think Barcelona is going to have the quality to see it through, and then Barcelona is going to advance. And then next, we have Bayern Munich versus Real Madrid. My team, Real Madrid. Um, this is going to be a really tight one. But I think Real Madrid is going to edge it in the end. Uh, but I think in the first leg, Bayern Munich is probably going to open the scoring, and then Real Madrid will equalize. Um, I'm not really sure when those goals are going to happen, but I think it's probably going to end 1-1 in a very tight uh, first match. And then the second match is going to be a bit more open uh, with Real Madrid. You know, having one away goal was still going to want to win the match. And then Bayern Munich are going to need to uh, make sure that they score. But I think in this one, Bayern Munich are also going to score first. And then Ramadan is probably going to equalize in the last 20 minutes of the game before Sergio Ramos, who else really, uh, would, you know, uh, would equalize. And then Ramadan is, is going to go through after extra time. That's what that E-E-A-E-T uh, that -E -E is, it's after extra time. Uh, so I think Ramadan is going to go through there. But obviously that one could go either way as well. I mean, all these fixtures are really tight, except for this one. This one is a 100% shoe in, and you can go and link this video afterwards if I'm wrong, but I think Atletico Madrid is going to absolutely dominate Leicester. That being said, I don't think they're going to dominate the scoreline, but I do think they're going to dominate the match, both fixtures, with the first one being 2-0, and the second one being 1-0 to Atletico Madrid. Uh, I don't think Leicester is going to score a goal, and uh, if they do, I mean, it, they're still not going to go through. This one's one of the easiest, you know, one of the easiest quarterfinal predictions um, ever, I would say. Um, but yeah, Leicester, not not nearly the quality of uh, Atletico Madrid, unfortunately. I mean, it would be nice to see Atletico go out because that's going to make it a lot easier for Real Madrid to go through. Uh, obviously, because Atletico Madrid are the most difficult at this stage, uh, you know, for Real Madrid to beat, I would say. Uh, always tough to play them. But uh, overall, that is how I think things are going to play out. Uh, so Dortmund, Barcelona, Real Madrid, and Atletico Madrid going through. Um, Monaco, I would say out of this, the most likely one that I'm going to, you know, the most likely I am to get wrong is probably Monaco versus Dortmund. Uh, Monaco have been really, really good this season. Credit to them. Um, you know, they've been destroying uh, league. Uh, they're probably still the, the highest scoring team in Europe, I would imagine. Um, at least, you know, they have been for a while. Uh, but I think Dortmund also, you know, a very attacking team. They're going to be, you know, that's going to be a high scoring match, I think. Probably the highest scoring match of uh, this this stage. And, uh, yeah, so those are my predictions um, just in time for the matches. Uh, I did get these out pretty late. But uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Leave your predictions in the comments section below. And uh, I will see you guys next time.